What's up guys, welcome back to another Fior Versus series. This is going to be Season 11, so I'm going to be revamping a lot of the other matchups on top of doing other matchups I haven't done. So we're going to start with Gwen for Season 11. First of all, I'd like to say thank you guys. I didn't know you guys loved the series as much as you guys did. So thank you guys for all the support. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here. Um, and yeah, I'll show you the runes that I'm taking on the uh, screen right now. Uh, and I'm going to do something a little bit differently. So I want to talk a little bit about the champions because usually in my videos I refer to their Q, W, E, and R, assuming you already know what their abilities do. So I'm going to just give you basically the very bare minimum of what each champion does so that way you know what to look for. So for Gwen, her Q is when she takes out her scissors and she snips really, really fast. Um, she builds up a, a passive, which you'll see under her health bar, where she gets uh, little blocks, kind of like Annie, when you know that she's about to stun. Um, and the more that she has, she can stack up to four, the more her damage her Q does and applies her passive, which does percent HP damage. Keep in mind, she also life steals. Now, you kind of want to play aggressive into her early because Fiora excels into matchups level one because of her vitals, because she is a very balanced champion. So we're just going to abuse her like this. Uh, and we're just going to keep her off. That's her Q right there. Okay. But keep that in mind. Her W is going to be a shield or a, a circle that is around her where she gets increased armor and magic resist. Um, do not sleep on this. She actually does tank a decent amount. Um, that's all you really need to know for the most part. Outside of it, she doesn't take range damage, but you don't need to know that for laning phase. Her E is a dash, and then after an auto attack, she gets 50% cooldown on the ability itself. Um, and then her ultimate is she shoots a thread and then after another ultimate she could shoot more and then after another ult uh, I mean after another auto attack she could shoot more That's basically it um, So in this matchup you should always be thinking or in any matchup you should be thinking pre-6 What do I look to repost? So pre-6 you could look to repost her Q It's not necessary because of the fact that you have your Q So you could just Q to her backside Um so it's kind of an easy matchup for Fiora. The only thing is, is that she scales fairly well being an AP champion. So knowing that, I'm just looking really quickly where we have a Ramus here. Um, knowing that, just try to just try to play a little bit aggressive. Try and try and get your lead. Ramus is probably gonna look to gank here, so we're gonna we're gonna try and play for that because I, I don't have a good position here with the wave. We're either gonna try and shove this in and then rotate because Nocturne is gonna be a little late. Um, but Ramus is probably going to look for this gank. We have a pretty big wave, so we could make it work. I'm going to hold my E just because I want to keep my abilities. There's Ramus now. We're going to rotate. So we're playing aggressive because we have the, the, the lead. We we are very strong into Gwen. So you want to push that lead. If you let her just farm and scale and just get whatever she wants, it's going to be an issue. So we're going to zone him off of this. Um, Gwen is looking to rotate. She actually just warded here. And the reason we can leave is because we shoved the minions into the turret, so we set a roam timer for ourselves. We didn't lose any minions. We still have a pretty good CS lead other than the minions that I already previously lost. And now that I have E, I can hold her into a longer trade. So if she ever comes up for these, I can do this. That's her dash. Yeah. Now if she comes back up, I'm just going to QW, apply this slow, and she's dead. Okay. She disrespected because I still had my repost. Uh, she should not have walked up the way she did. And now the wave is in a really bad spot. She has to TP if she wants to, uh, if she wants to not miss as much experience in gold because I have a freeze here. So just like that, you can see once you have your E, you kind of br you force her into a fight, right? So she has an E as well. She should be using it more defensively, but she should respect, uh, she should respect the damage that I do. I'm holding my repost again because there's no need to use it. I'm gonna use it actually now because. I could force her flash. Didn't use any health potions. I could flash Q, but she's she has corrupting. She like healed a little bit too much, so we're not gonna do anything. Not gonna rush it. Um, I just have to be careful for her Q because that's where a lot of her damage is gonna go. She might look to EQ. Okay, she's not. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of Gwens are taking corrupting because of how weak she is early, which is understandable. I kind of want to look for a back here, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure I can kill her. I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit of limit testing here. The wave isn't in the best pl in the best place. I kind of want to crash it. That's why the main reason I don't want to back. You can see that's her that's her E Q. You could look to repost that. I didn't. Kind of baiting her, trying to make her feel confident. So she has stacks. She could look again to do it. If she EQs, I'm probably gonna just repost it. And I don't think I can kill her. I'm actually gonna let her push this wave out. 
I'm going to let her push this wave out. I'm going to back and actually TP. I'm going to play this smart and safe so that way I could show you guys um, good scenarios. So if you are in a scenario like this, uh, don't don't be afraid to just back and TP. We're going to get uh, Sheen and double longsword, and then we are going to just TP right back. And then we can actually hold this freeze because we're level 6, and if she doesn't respect that, uh, then she, she could just lose. So you see we have a decent CS lead. She lost the cannon minion, which is good. She's losing this minion, 33 to 29. Uh, we have a pretty good lead. She hit six, so she's going to feel a little bit more confident, which is fine. Going to apply the E slow. Get all that damage off again. And you can see her E is actually on a fairly low cooldown. I could have actually killed her there if I played it properly. Um, but I had misclicked. First game of the day. We take those. Okay. Wave is still in a good place here. Yeah, that's her ultimate. So she has to auto attack again in order to get it back. So I just forced her into it because, I mean, she used her ultimate, which is a hard engage. If you ever see a champion use an ultimate, that's basically them engaging into a, a extended fight. She's committed to the fight because she used a large resource. Okay, So we're just going to actually back. This is a pretty thick wave, but it's going to push to this one. And I don't, it won't crash in time because we have a cannon minion here. So again, we're denying her more gold. We're going to get call fields. We'll get a red trinket. Uh, we don't need a refillable. Uh, we actually don't even need an actual health potion, to be honest. So we're just going to heal up a little bit. And you can see, because we did this, we, we left a couple minions. It's going to kill this wave, and then it's going to get to our turret, and then we can collect it. So again, 31 to 39 CS. You got to love when they rush that uh, Grievous Wounds. Am I right, guys? Us Fiora players? Um, but yeah, you can see that repost really isn't necessary because these extended trades, you just really, really win. Um... She's not the hardest for Fiora, but you will see in the later parts of the game that she is a decent opponent into Fiora. She has good 1v1 potential, um, which makes me feel kind of awkward for this champion where she kind of feels like a discount Fiora. I actually tweeted about this uh, earlier today where like she seems like she's good in 1v1, 2v1 situations, but like she's not as strong and you have to like rely on her scaling too much. I don't know. They might buff her in the future. Um, I think she honestly needs it, to be honest. Uh, most matchups in the top lane, she's kind of getting crushed by, especially... And, I mean, no matter what, if she's buffed, it won't be an issue for Fiora because, again, you have your Q dash. So, uh, this isn't a freeze. We're just slow pushing it here. And then on the next wave, I'm going to fast push it, and we can get a good reset. Um, she's just going to be getting these minions denied. Again, you can see the CS difference is pretty pretty significant. She's not going to be looking to trade with me, which is smart because she's behind. But if she walks up like this, I will engage. I used my E a little too early, but it's okay. So just letting her know that she can't really step up. Uh, there's no real reason for me to take those fights, to be honest, considering she does have a uh, time warp. And there's going to be almost no scenario where I can kill her. But you can see how her E kind of protects her from a lot of these engages, which allows her to get to the later parts of the game. And if that's the case, then you're going to do what I'm doing, which is start slow pushing and then look to roam. So I can definitely look to roam this this game. They have a Syndra. Uh, she's fairly weak. They also have a Rammus. So I could look to invade in his jungle, slow down his clears, mess him up a little bit. So, And also dive. So I'm not going to dive here. It's not really worth it. Again, she has her E, which is very evasive. So instead, I'm just going to play some vision, see if we can find out where Ramus is. There he is. Uh, let's see if we can get here in time. Don't believe so. Let's see. We got the whole squad pulling up. Going to Q to close the gap. And okay, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, it looks like he is going to his top side. So I'm just going to ward it really quickly. Going a little deep for this ward, to be honest. But that way we at least keep a track on him. So since he's going to be there, I can actually look here. I thought she would use that on me. Whoops. Yeah, nice. The reason I could do this again is because I had shoved the wave into the turret. I had set a timer for myself. She wasn't pushing it fast enough, so there was no urgency. Um, I cannot help with this, actually. I'm going to ping him back because these minions are much, much worth. They're, they're, they're worth way too much compared to helping Nocturne. So I'm just going to ping him back. Collect this wave. 
Because if I missed this, I that roam I did would not have been worth it. The only reason I did that roam to help mid and to get the assist was so that way I could collect this afterwards. So you never want to do something that would cost your life so you can't collect it or do a play where you're going to be missing it to uh, the turret. So again, we're going to kind of do the same thing where I'm going to slow push it um, into another fast push because I have a lot of gold with not much mana. So we are going to be able to finish uh, Essence Reaver on our back. But I just cannot push the wave fast enough, so I have to slow push it into a fast push. As you guys know, Fiora's clear is pretty booty early, so we gotta just do it this way. Um, you're gonna start attacking the casters. This is the fastest way to push a wave, is attack the casters first. Then go to the minion, uh, the melees, and there you go. We fast pushed it. Now it's gonna crash, and we can get a reset. Now Gwen should have TP at this point, she should have flash. Gotta keep that in mind. Uh, we get Essence. Uh, we could actually go with Merc Charge this game, okay? The reason we're going to go Merc, uh, buy another pink ward. The reason we're going Merc is, is um, she does AP damage. Uh, Ramus does a bit of AP. Syndra does AP. Lux does AP. Aphilios is the only AD. So we have to keep that in mind. Um, we'll probably end up going Gargoyle Stone Plate. Um, that's really the only like AP item that I actually like. That does, and it also is a bit of a hybrid, so it, it gets with the Aphilios as well, or it helps with the Aphilios. So, just gotta get that, and I think we'll be good. Uh, also, Gargoyles is just really strong in general. Okay, so we have uh, Essence. We are extremely strong right now. Uh, if you guys don't go Essence Reaver, you might be going Mirror Mana, which is also fine. I just don't prefer it because uh, it takes too long to get an effect out of it. So, um... Looks like Gwen is mid to collect the wave. That's fine. But watch this. This is the perk of getting Sheen and Essence Reaver. You just absolutely shred turrets. Not to mention Fiora already shredded turrets. But it's it's just absolutely disgusting. And if you go Muramana, again, you don't get Sheen. You don't get to do this. And again, it takes forever to actually complete it and stack it. So I'd much rather get an item. One, that's much cheaper. And two, you can get something out of this is this is definitely something no matter what even if you're ahead behind you can you can get use out of but there there's many reasons as to why it's good i can actually take this turret and then fight her oh that's awkward but there's no way she wins this i don't even have to waste flash okay there's no reason I have to use Flash because I uh, my Q again is on such a low cooldown. Uh, I do tons of damage from Essence Reaver. I had movement speed for my ultimate. I kind of misplayed it. I was kind of thinking that the uh, the fruit was still there. So I was anticipating to look to repost uh, the uh, the fruit so I could stun her. Um, and then also lack of vision. So we're just completely pushing top. They're getting steamrolled bot. This is kind of what you look forward to in a, uh, a league match. But uh, you'll start to see that she will eventually scale. This is the thing, though, is that if she keeps making mistakes and doesn't play with her E, and she doesn't look to uh, just, like, E away from you at all times, when like, in the early stages, she will scale really well. Um, most Gwens, especially in lower elo, will not be doing this. It's kind of hard for me to tell if this Gwen is, uh, higher or lower, lower elo because it's a, it seems like it's a smurf account. Um, I can't really give you the comparison. But you just have to capitalize on the mistakes. Capitalize on them being aggressive. If they are overstepping their boundaries, if you still have your ultimate, if you still have your repost, all of these things come into play. So top is pushed. I do have a lot of gold, but I'm just looking to see if I can just snoop around somewhere and catch someone out. Okay, we see Gwen there. I'm just going to back here, but if she does walk over and cross, uh, I will I will fight her. Again, I, me me being here, I have a roam timer top. Um, I don't have to be there because I shoved the wave into the turret, so that's why I'm allowed to do that. Her not being there, she's losing minions. It might seem like I am here, but uh, she's the one that's losing minions here. Uh, we like to call that a slow bleed. Okay, let's see what's going on bot. They're fine. They haven't really been placing wards on the back side. Uh, so I can't really have, like, looked to TP. Um, which I have been looking. There's not much to do there, so we're just gonna go back into the lane. I believe she has vision. I believe she has vision. Uh, but actually no, it doesn't. 
Okay. I'll just loop around here. She can E over walls. So can we. So this is why, again, her evasiveness isn't really anything special for Fiora. Again, even if they buff her, it's not gonna really not gonna really benefit her in this matchup. So it's kinda like Nasus. Think of it that way. You kinda wanna suppress her so much that she can't actually pop off. He can do that on his own, uh, since we know Ramus is bot and he's low, so I'm just gonna let him. Um so we're just gonna rotate bot. Uh he actually backed, so. We're going to look into this bush here. Let's see if his buffs are up. No? Okay. We don't know where he's going to go now. Because his, neither, his, his top buffs are up, but not... Or his top camps are up, but not his bot. Okay, he went topside. Okay. Nocturne's there, so I got this. Coming top. We win this. Oops, that's awkward. I was trying to uh, repost his actual jump, but that's fine. Just hit all the vitals. Apply the E slow. Got him. Worth. Uh, I was trying to flash Q repost into the uh, Ramus roll, but he was a little too far. So... We're just going to shove this wave. And we're going to get mid turret because of it. Uh, I don't want to fight mid. I don't think there's going to be anything there. I kind of want to just uh, shove a side lane now and get a good reset again. Again, you, you always want to shove waves into turrets so that way you can get a, a reset. Deny them gold and also set yourself up for more gold in the future. We're going to shove that wave. Shove this wave. Again, go to the casters first. And we're going to back. Actually, <laughs> your boy's a little greedy. Hold up. Not as greedy as Yone, apparently, though. We're just going to back here. Just in case. Okay. All right. He's pressing the buttons. He's doing the things. Uh, I could look to actually TP here. If they hard engage, okay, she flashes. Let's see if we can get here in time. Okay, yeah. alright. Couldn't really get more out of it. I don't want to go back in without my repost, knowing that Syndra's here. She's the only real threat, to be honest. If she looks to stun, I can just QW her. Ah, I did a little too late, but it's okay. She disrespects it, and she walks up. She walks up, she disrespects uh, the fact that she doesn't have a stun. Okay. We love when they do this, and they just walk right into you. Thank you for taunting me right on the vital, so I don't have to do anything. And we're Gucci. All right, we're just going to shove this wave again, uh, and then not much we could do. Uh, they get a free dragon from this because Ramus is dead. I'm just going to ping it to make sure that they do it. And we're actually really strong right now. I could actually tower diver, so you know, let's go for it. I don't know if she has flash, though. So we're going to have to see. Saving all my abilities, not using it on the wave. Okay, Syndra's here, we'll just back up then. Syndra's 0-7, but honestly, she could still do a lot of damage, so you just have to respect it. I don't think this has been warded, so I'm gonna sit here, and I'm gonna greet it. Yeah, the fact that my vitals aren't showing makes me think that it isn't warded. I think we'll just walk up here, we'll, go ahead, we'll get Gromp while my team pushes bot. If she steps up, then I will Q over the wall. She didn't step up? Okay.
Yeah, she's TPing bottom. So I'm just gonna take this turret. So she TP'd bottom because uh, they were heralding and she saw a fight was going on. That's fine, we'll just take this instead. They don't really get anything out of that. So we're gonna just do that. And then now we're just gonna take uh, enemy jangles. Uh, I'll probably just take the blue buff and then look to rotate mid since uh, Syndra is kind of overextended. If she, uh, she stuns early every time. I'll get her on the next one. Oh, okay. I feel like they have vision there. Nice. Oh, going a little too deep. Okay, let's just queue out. Going too deep with no vision and or repost. We can look to loop around this way. Okay, uh, we just back out again. Lack of vision, again, not really having the resources for it, so it's not worth to just stick around. And we'll just back. Uh, we get Stride Breaker off of this, so that's really good. And then we're going to be super strong, and then we can start going into Gargoyles. A lot of people like to go Sterix next. Um, Sterix is fine. Um, again, everyone's like, oh my god, it's been nerfed, but I prefer usually to either go Gargoyles and or Death Stance beforehand and get Sterix last. Um, it's just something I've been doing. Uh, we'll just grab this. It's just something I've been doing. Um, uh, just because Gargoyles and Death Sands, I feel, are a bit stronger, and they make a little bit more of an impact than Sterix, considering Sterix still is a fairly expensive item. Um, but it is a good item to get nonetheless. Alright, so we're going to split bot. The reason why is Baron is up. Dragon's up in two minutes. Uh, somebody would have to respond to me, and there's nobody who can beat me at this point since I'm so fed. We're just going to shove this. And again, you see how I'm, I'm suppressing the Gwen. I'm not letting her get ahead at all because she does scale very well. Same thing if you're going into like an Urgot matchup or something where Urgot uh, outscales Fiora. Um, you wouldn't want to do the same here. This is why we go Stride Breaker. Absolutely disgusting. My team is looking to fight now, so I think I will join them. Disgusting. I used my flash because her Q was coming up soon, and I didn't want to risk queuing to the other side while getting stunned. So it is worth the flash for it. All right. Uh, this end. This game is basically over at this point. We're just going to shove this. Uh, if she looks to stay, we could kill her. Yeah, we got her flash and everything. That's good. If I die here, I'm going to. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. God damn it, dude. I was literally like, all right, if I die, but then they stopped pushing the wave. There was three minions that were here. <sighs> Report me, dude. Okay. But yeah, so uh, since we have a little bit of time here as the game is basically coming to a close, I would like to say that I'm going to be changing the format again to try and give you guys a little bit more information. Uh, you guys said the videos were helpful, but I'm always trying to look for the better, the be next best thing and always keep getting better at what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to give you more information on the matchup throughout the game uh, at each stage. So you basically just don't want to let her get to uh, um, the later parts of the game. Uh, all right, good. He's going in here. I'm just going to TP, and then we can just end this game. Where are you going? Oh, no. Where am I going? Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, nose. Okay.
Okay, so you can see that's her ultimate. No, if I did, if I hit the repo, I mean, um, if I hit the, uh, the vital on the top, that would have been so nice. Uh, I would have definitely killed two, if not three. All right, well, we have gargoyles, so we just don't have that issue ever again. But you can start to see how, even though she is behind, that her damage is getting substantially stronger. So as long as you just play early aggressive, same thing you would do into a Nasus matchup, same thing you would do into a Kale matchup, into a, um, like I had said before, like an Urgot, or not, not necessarily a Jax. You have to play off of bad Jax's mistakes, but you do want to get ahead on these champions because they are dangerous into the later parts of the game. Now, I haven't tried Gargoyles into uh, Gwen because I haven't had a matchup where Gargoyles was beneficial for the entire team comp. Um, but uh, I could assume that it'll, it will be very strong. All right, so we just get Dragon here. Very good. Again, they can't beat me in a 1v1, 2v2 situation. Maybe even a 2v... I mean, a 1v3 Uh depending on if I have my ult and I'm fully HP'd. So I'm just going to keep going into the side lanes and trying to force those scenarios. Um, I actually could open this inhib since the other inhib is about to close. Oh no, they're, they're trying to already stop me. Okay. If that's the case, then I could just ping Baron. They should look to go Baron, but I guess we're going to go for another fight. Sounds good to me. Alright, and then we can just end the game. Well, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Also, make sure to check out my Mobifier guide if you're not into watching these long videos. Um, I update matchup guides and the best builds to take all the time. So, let me know if uh, there's anything you guys would like to see in the future. And, uh, yeah. GG's. Let's close this game out. All right. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.